Hey, so much for the day off. Yeah, uh, wicked, eh? <laughs> well, I got this on. I had to move this because the uh, we got eight or ten, ten loads of uh, a yeah. fill coming for yeah. down the back. So I had to move this so that tandem dump trucks could be, be able to swing in and miss the uh, side of the, the uh, garage. Then this showed up, and then there's a road down there that showed up. <laughs> yeah. And I still have to put the weather stripping on the shed, and there's some work in there left over from last week, so whew, it's all busy part day. Of it. So uh, far, so good. We're supposed to get a lot of rain today. Supposed to get a lot of rain and a lot of high winds up to 110 kilometers per hour. I mean, look how windy it got on Friday. Oh, well, I'm telling you, you know, only for I filled your pockets with rocks, you would have blew away. Absolutely. So. But it's warm today. Oh, it's really I hot. I know, really hot. Time for this, Dan. I, anyway. can't live, I can't live in a, in a place that got heat like this. Well, I don't know where we're going to go where there's no heat. Yukon. Yukon? Yukon now or Alberta. There's all snow up there. Well, that's right, Alberta. Yeah, we'll go to Alberta. <laughs> take, take our Zamboni with us. <laughs> take that our with Caboni. us. Our Oh, really? Well, I, uh, I'll leave you alone. I got this I got this put on now. So what I got to do is I got to put this on the level surface there. Mm -hmm. And then I got to adjust the top link so that the skids are level on the ground. Okay. And then I'm going to take that and put it over there by fork, eat a forklift. Yep. And then that's it for today. I'll worry about the rest of this now the week. What do you do?
as soon as I ask them, they come right away. I know, they're so good. They're so the service is unbelievable, oh, eh? it is. Wow, another two hours early. That's nice.
Good. You're coming steady here now. Oh, you're gonna come back? Well, that's only three loads. Yeah, that's right. But I, I didn't know if you were going to lunch or anything. Oh, they, yeah, I guess they're gonna have their lunch for sure. But they, they said they're gonna be steady on the count of the rain coming. Just take the camera and come down and have a look. See, when you're when you're pushing off, we call that on a dump. Okay. You build it up and you try to compact it a bit. So it's 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 the grade is high here now. Yep. You get you know it's it's up on a small incline. Mm -hmm. That way, when the truck comes in, if it goes to settle, he'll only settle to the level. Oh, that's why. Right? Yeah. So what I'll do now is I'm only going to come out to burn this a bit further, but then I'm going to head in that way. Oh. So that yeah. two trailers. Hopefully, by the end of the day, the two trailers and the truck will fit in here. Okay. Out yeah, that's a nice little uh, space there, right? Oh, it's coming a lot. Yeah. It's going to take three loads just to get it all settled, you know. It will. So it's coming a lot. But it's uh, it's almost six feet deep. But now, this is going to come down a lot. This is going to go a lot farther than what you see it going here now. Oh, yeah. Because the grade is really high here. I'm about a foot and a half above grade. Exactly. When they're finished, so you'll level it out then. Right? Yeah, well, what, when they're finished, what I'm going to do is... Uh, when I see that we have enough, mm -hmm. I'm going to save one load, yeah. and then I'm going to pick up a bucket full of stuff, and I'm going to grade this good, I'm going to pick up a bucket full of this stuff, and I'm going to run, keep running it over, compacting it, compacting it, compacting it. And then, of course, then it'll be, uh, then it'll be ready then to use. Because mm -hmm. this stuff, this goes as hard as the flint, you know. It does, it's nice material. Oh, it's good material. It's not a lot of rock in it, and, no. you know. And then, uh, like I say, we're only going to go into far as these trees here. Yeah. You know? And then once I get as far as these trees here, then I'll square it up. So, I'm saying eight loads. It could be 12 loads by the time we're done. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, because the last time when we started counting, too, you know, how many <laughs> Yeah. Got there. Yeah, you can never really tell until, until you get into it, because of the depth and the distance. And, you know, and those trailers, like the dump trailer and that other N&N &N trailer, they are wide trailers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then there's the truck, you know, so even if I took it and, and I came, started here and I went this way. Yeah, that's right. You know? mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because what happens is then, you can just show the viewers what will happen is then, with those trailers out of there, I'll be able to come down here in midwinter, or any time, any time for that matter, drop my implement and pick up another implement without having to move, remove trailers or move pickups. You almost lost me over the bank. Yeah, well, don't drop the camera. Oh, oh Medicare won't cover the camera. Did you see it? I was off. Yeah, but Medicare <laughs> won't cover the camera. Don't worry about the camera. You know. I mean, I'm irreplaceable, too. You know? Before you throw the camera over the bank, you know, like, I mean, you dive down first, <laughs> that way the camera will have something soft to hit, right? Oh, no. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. You do need a lot of room. You saw even with all we had done, done yep. here. I mean, you need a lot of turnaround space. Yeah. Well, the trailers look. The trailers stick out, and the dump trailer and the pickup is up front now. Well, that's what I mean. You've got too many. you got too many things here. Well, I mean, I got to have real estate to park it. There's no point. <laughs> well, if we didn't have all of these trailers and tractors and implements, I mean, yeah. we wouldn't have the problem. No, no, you wouldn't be looking so darn good as you do either, because you'd be broke up using a pick and shovel, digging the holes for your flowers and stuff. Good point, oh isn't boy, it? I tell you, Doc, that was a good company. <laughs> that was a good save. I mean, I can't argue with you know, that. Like, you're after costing me a lot of money having to buy this equipment. That's right, because it's all my fault. Exactly, all exactly. You don't want to lift heavy stuff, so I had to buy the forks. You didn't want to shovel snow, so I had to buy the, the snow bucket there. You didn't want to push snow with the nice push bucket, push shovel I got you at Princess Auto, which, by the way, you destroyed the first day, so I had to buy a plow. But listen, that's me. What's wrong with you? I can't show when my back is bad. <laughs> I can't go to lunch. This is just this Okay, is let's go to lunch. <laughs> Gotta go. Not on a shot. <laughs> no, bad.
under a tree. You get wet? No, I'm under the trees. Oh. Yeah. I had to move under there when I got a bit wet. We paused that one.
13 miles away. That's for all that's for hauling that's when we're pit from seeing it's four trucks. Yeah, that's right.
got some friggin' wind. Holy smokes. That's crazy. You get the gusts. That that poor old maple tree, that was all leaned over there a minute ago. I'm kind of hanging on here just to see if it'll gust again. It's frightening. I don't even know how the birds can fly in this. Hey guys, we're going to call this one a wrap. Everybody likes to see the tractor working, so I'll just upload what I got there now. And then uh, we'll be back again in a couple of days when the weather gets better to uh, finish it up. And hopefully you'll get to see the uh, results of our uh, operating. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video. If you get a chance and you haven't done so, please subscribe. We always like to see new subscribers. And uh, if you got any comments, please make them. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care. God bless.